I'm Jason Barr. It's a new Arizona football coaching staff, but one with familiar faces. Dino Babers returns to the U of A after spending the last eight seasons as Syracuse head coach. Here's Babers at a recent spring practice. He was here during the Dick Tomey days. I spoke to Babers about his journey back to Tucson and joining Brent Brennan's staff. Did Coach Brennan reach out to you? Did you reach out to him? How did you reconnect when he came here and you had the opening in your career? No, he reached out to me and uh, we, I came down. We had a conversation. The conversation sounded good to both of us. So we decided to do this thing. Coach B is somebody that uh, is very, very dear to me and I want to make sure he starts off on the right foot out here. What are you most proud of when you look back at your time at Syracuse? I think the biggest thing is we, had an, we went to two bowl games back to back. Uh, it had been done in a long time, even though I got let go before the team finished the accomplishment. But I thought we did it the right way, cleaned it up, had a lot of guys graduate. We had the highest graduation rate uh, the year I got let go in the history of the football team. And yet we had a lot of guys make the National Football League as well. So I thought it was a balanced, well-run program. We just didn't win enough games, obviously. When you come here, are you bringing your offense or are you going to build an offense around the talent that's here? You know, I think really good offensive coordinators have the ability to be flexible. And what I need to do is find out exactly what we're capable of doing and then try to do that to the best of our ability. So what do you think of Ted Rowe and McMillan? I mean, you've got to be thrilled about being a, a coach and having that type of talent on the field. What are your thoughts on him and some of the other guys here? I think not only him, but there's a lot of guys on this offensive unit that can do some things. And it all starts with the offensive line. If you have a great offensive line, then you have an opportunity. If you have a quarterback that can make plays, which we do, now you've got a chance, and then when you've got a playmaker, whether that's in the backfield or wide receiver or tight end, some skilled guy with the ball, a chance to have a ball in his hands, you know, you've got to find ways to uh, get your Kobe Bryant the ball, no matter how many screens he's got to run through to get there.